So let's look at the scenario in which the observer is stationary and the source is moving. Okay, so so here you go. So the source is moving and obviously emitting sound waves and the observer is stationary. So one non-trivial, a bit non-trivial thing over here is that <clears throat> remember that the speed of the sound waves <clears throat> only depends on the medium, right? Um, the reason I'm calling it a bit non-trivial is because let's say that you are moving and you throw something. Let's say you throw a ball. The speed of the ball is obviously going to be faster uh, relative to the ground because your speed adds up to the speed of the ball, right? Uh, but in this case, the speed uh, the speed of the sound uh, is not affected by the speed of the source. It only depends on the speed on the properties of the medium. Okay, so <clears throat> so far away from the source as uh, as before, I'm going to draw these crests as uh, parallel lines, and um, the observer is over here. The speed of the observer is zero. Okay. Uh, let me remind you guys of an equation because I'm going to use it. So um, we know that um, lambda is uh, v over f, right? So remember, one over f is uh, <clears throat> capital T. So lambda is also v times capital T, right? So so I'm going to use this equation. That's why I wanted to remind you guys of this. So as before, the frequency that the observer listens to is going to be modified because of the motion of the source, right? And frequency is speed over wavelength, right? So in this case, the speed is not being modified. The wavelength is. So as I said, the speed of the sound wave is independent of the speed of the source. So when these sound waves uh, um, approach the observer, their speed is just going to be weak, right? But now the wavelength is modified. How does that happen? So in order to um, demonstrate that, let's label these two crests as one and two. So the first, so I'm going to draw the crests over here. So the first crest up. Uh, approaches the observer, but when the second crest approaches the observer, the source has moved closer to the observer. Remember, the source is moving. So so the second crest is going to be closer to the observer, and therefore the wavelength is going to be lesser or smaller, right? So because of this, this wavelength is going to be smaller, the frequency will increase. So, so therefore, frequency is going to be greater, speed is going to be the same, and the wavelength is going to be smaller, right? Again, because of the fact that the source has moved closer, so when the second crest approaches the observer, uh, the source has moved closer. So now let's write an equation for this, um, uh, for the smaller wavelength. So lambda minus is going to be V times T. So V times T is just the usual wavelength of the sound wave. But now, again, the, the observer experiences a smaller wavelength because the source has moved towards the observer. So you have to subtract the distance that the source has moved. So this is, again, the distance the source has moved. So in one time period. So now I'm going to plug this equation in, this uh, frequency equation, right? So you get V over V capital T minus Vs times capital T. Now as the source is moving, so in this case the source is moving towards the observer. If the source is moving away from the observer, the same argument applies, similar argument. Now the, the second crest will move farther away, so it's going to be a greater wavelength. So if the source is moving away, then um, the, fr the wavelength will increase and therefore you get a smaller frequency. Now let's further simplify this. So we'll take the 1 over t common and you get v over v minus vs. 
and 1 over t is the frequency of the source, so you get f plus minus f source times v over v minus v s. So this plus sign represents when it's moving away. Okay, so this is the equation for the frequency that the observer experiences. Remember, so notice that when this is plus, this is minus. When this is minus, this is plus. Again, the same argument. So let's just uh, so I'll just write that down. F minus is when source is moving away from observer. So so this is the scenario when the stationary when the observer is stationary and the source is moving. Um, that was it. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Thank you for watching.